Today I'm very aware of the fact that the only currency that matters in the times that we are in is the currency of consistency. It's been five years since we started off with a culture that we are creating in our company. And we always said that we are creating a healthy organization. We still believe that it is healthy people who are in healthy relationships that will create a healthy organization. But in this new decade, if I look back at what we've accomplished in five years, today my heart overflows with joy and peace that I know that there are many people whose hearts have been transformed by so many processes that we got involved in. So thank you to each one of you that started creating a healthy culture with us. In the new decade we are entering into, we are pleased to announce that we're turning the curve from a healthy organization into AFGRI culture. You will see more and more how we display AFGRI culture and it so links up to we are in the agricultural sector and we are creating an AFGRI culture. Jakob and so many of our leaders have said so many times that our culture will be based on the fact that we treat each other with utmost dignity and respect. And that is something in our business that we will not negotiate. People is what it's all about. And I invite each one of you to continue involving yourself in the different processes that we have. What we are doing in creating our culture is not a once-off course that you are going on. It's not a people development program, a PDP or a LOT that you've attended and now you can tick the list and say, I've been on it. What we are doing is we are cre constantly creating avenues where people can involve themselves into so that they can have a progressive revelation of the new things that are busy taking place in our environment. So whatever we present is always new. The groups of people that get together determine the, the kind of learning that are taking place in that groups. And it's such a dynamic process that you should please never see this as a cause. Make sure you constantly involve yourself in the different processes that we have. One of the new processes that we are introducing this year is leading within. I'm so confident of the fact that you are not able to lead anybody else unless you can lead yourself. So in leading within, we take you into a journey where you can find out who you are, why your story really matters. And if you lead from within, you will be able to find your own purpose and destiny to be able to lead others and really make an impact on your community. We also invite you into another process we have called Leaders of Tomorrow. And in our Leaders of Tomorrow process, we believe that it's leaders who's got the ability to function from a place of a transformed and progressive mindset that will be the people that will create a better tomorrow. So if you're not part of that and have not been part of it before, please make sure to involve yourself in one of those processes. Become a leader of tomorrow. One of the cultural values for us as a business is diversity. And in that group, you will see the diverse nature of people, different cultural groups coming together, but also different generational groups coming together, thinking together about a better future. And we become co-creators of our own destiny. The other thing that I want to tell you about is connecting the dots. We've realized that there are a lot of people that are working in our business that do not connect the dots on what is taking place at this moment. You might have went through an induction process two years ago, but I promise you the relevance of what is taking place in our business, what you've learned two years ago, is no longer relevant. We collaborated with Human Resources on this, and we're gonna call, we call it Connect the Dots because we, it's an induction and a re-induction process. So it's for new and existing people and we invite you to please enroll for our monthly sessions that are taking place. In that sessions, you will have the opportunity to meet some of our leaders and you will find out what is really taking place in our organization. In the afternoon, you will get to know what's happening from the human resources point of view and Teresa and her team will share with you the learning 
um, exciting learning things that are happening in human resources. You will also hear about an exciting partnership that we have formed with Chapman & Co, where they are taking some of our leaders through a stewards of growth process. We believe that leadership is a privilege. It's a position that you have been given to care for more people that are being placed under your span of care. And through our stewards of growth process, we are equipping our leaders with real leadership capabilities to really listen, to be able to relate to people, to be able to embrace the diversity and many, many more things. So we are excited about our partnership with Chapman & Co and people that are really speaking the same language and has got the same heart and purpose that we have in creating a healthy culture. So in all of this, I want to introduce you to some amazing team members that we have. Jonathan is a co-facilitator in many of these processes with me. I also want to introduce you to Andri. Andri is like the megaphone and the voice of our business that really tries to create a healthy environment through communicating with absolute clarity. And I've got the privilege to work with people that are sharing exactly the same heart. So please meet each one of them individually. Good day everybody, my name is Jonathan Evans and I am part of the AfriCulture team. I'm with Krista and Anri. And it's really a great privilege to be able to be part of the team and have an impact and influence in the company that, that we work for. And as part of that, we have certain um, processes on a monthly basis. And one majorly important part of those processes for me is the learning community for leaders that happens on a monthly basis, um, normally the first Wednesday of the month. And I would really encourage you to attend and really sit in and come expecting to get um, motivation, to get information um, with regards to what's happening in, in your environment, but also to really come and reflect and really think about what your purpose and what um, drives you in your life and within the company. The community is for leaders with or without a title. So everybody is welcome. What's the press for details? Hi, my name is Andre Smith and I'm responsible for internal communication. We were made for connection. And in today's world of work, effective communication is very important. We want to connect with you and communicate using various platforms. So please feel free to speak to me or to the team or send us an email to connect at afcri.co.za. If you have not saved our Connect telephone number on your cell phone yet, please do so so that we can add you to our broadcast list. Send us a WhatsApp at 079-644-3325. We are looking forward to many great connections and interactions with you.